Hello, and welcome to the Fringe Topics channel. If you are new to the channel, please subscribe and join us on the exploration of the Fringe. In recent years, the James Webb Space Telescope has been at the forefront of astronomical research, offering unprecedented views of the universe. Its findings have been groundbreaking, to say the least, and they are shaking the very foundations of our understanding of time and the universe. The Big Bang Theory has always told us that everything in the universe, all the stars, galaxies, and even space itself, came from a single, massive explosion. This theory also suggests that the universe has been expanding ever since, and as we look farther into space, we should see fewer and fewer galaxies, eventually finding empty space or a cosmic void. However, the new images from the James Webb Space Telescope are challenging these ideas. First, the galaxies we're seeing far away don't look like young galaxies at all. They look old, similar to galaxies that are much closer to us. This is puzzling because if the Big Bang really happened, these distant galaxies should be younger and less developed. Scientists can even estimate the age of a galaxy by looking at the light emitted from its stars and what they're finding doesn't add up. These far-off galaxies are supposed to represent what the universe looked like just 400 to 500 million years after the Big Bang. But the stars in these galaxies appear to be over a billion years old. How can that be if the universe itself is only 400 to 500 million years old at that point? Secondly, instead of finding fewer galaxies as we look deeper into space, we're actually finding more, a lot more. This is the opposite of what the Big Bang Theory predicts and raises questions about whether the universe is really expanding in the way we thought. All of this new evidence is making scientists rethink our understanding of time itself. Time began at the moment of the Big Bang. As the universe expanded, time also moved forward, creating a past, present, and future. This is why our current understanding of time is so closely tied to the post-Big Bang evolution of the universe. Time, in this context, is linear, moving from the past, through the present, and into the future, all set against the backdrop of an ever-expanding universe. However, the new findings from the James Webb Space Telescope throw a wrench into this well-established concept. The observed galaxies, with their perplexing characteristics, challenge the idea that the universe has been continually expanding, and by extension, they challenge our understanding of time as a linear, forward, moving entity. These findings open up the possibility that time might not be as straightforward as we once thought. There's a captivating suggestion emerging from this data that time might not be linear at all. It could be an illusion, a construct of human cognition, this idea suggests that all events, whether they are in the past, present, or future, could be occurring simultaneously. This would mean that time as we understand it, as a one-way street from the past to the future, might be a limited or even incorrect interpretation of a much more complex reality. In the framework of a four-dimensional space-time fabric, the concept of time as we understand it undergoes a radical transformation. Instead of viewing time as a river flowing from the past, through the present, and into the future, this model suggests that all points in time exist at once, much like all points on a landscape exist simultaneously. This is a concept known as block universe, supported by Einstein's theory of relativity. So what does this mean in practical terms? Imagine a book where the entire story, from beginning to end, is already written. Each page represents a moment in time and all pages exist at the same time. In this analogy, the past is not gone and the future is not yet to come. They are all there in the book, existing as part of the whole story. You, as a reader, are experiencing the book page by page, but your experience doesn't change the fact that the entire story is already there. This has profound implications for our understanding of reality. It suggests that the past, present, and future are not separate entities, but are part of a single, unchanging continuum. Every moment, every event, every decision that has happened or will happen is not separate, 
but part of this interconnected fabric of space-time. This challenges our everyday experience of time as something that passes, that moves from past to future. Instead, it suggests that all moments are equally real and exist together in this four-dimensional framework. Furthermore, if every moment is as real as the present, then the past and future are not just abstract concepts, but are as tangible as the present moment. They exist somewhere within this space-time continuum. And theoretically, if we can find a way to step outside of our three-dimensional experience, we might be able to navigate this fabric much like we navigate through space. This idea also opens up fascinating philosophical and ethical questions. For instance, if the future already exists in this block universe, what does that mean for free will? Are our choices predestined? Or do we have the ability to shape our own destiny? These are questions that scientists and philosophers are still grappling with, and while the answers are far from clear, the questions themselves show just how revolutionary this concept is for our understanding of time and reality. To delve deeper into the philosophical implications, consider the age-old debate on determinism versus free will. If every event is already written in the space-time fabric, does that mean our lives are predetermined? Or is the fabric flexible, allowing for multiple possibilities and outcomes? The scientific community is divided on this, and research is ongoing. Moreover, this new understanding of time could have significant impacts on fields outside of physics and philosophy. For example, in psychology, the concept of now is crucial for understanding human behavior and decision-making. If the now is just one point in a vast space-time fabric, what does that mean for our understanding of consciousness and subjective experience? The James Webb Space Telescope's discoveries are revolutionizing our grasp of both the universe and the foundational principles of reality. These findings compel us to reevaluate long-held beliefs and theories about the cosmos and our place in it. As we continue to explore the far reaches of the universe, who knows what other revolutionary ideas we might encounter? The universe, it seems, still has many secrets to reveal. As we unlock them, we may also unlock new understandings of ourselves. I hope you enjoyed the video. Thank you for watching, and if you have not subscribed to the channel, please do. Your support truly does mean a lot to us. Until next time, be safe and take care. Goodbye for now.